Hey, welcome back, folks. It's Brian with BG Model Workshop, and this is the end of the year finale of the 2019 build series because it is December 31st, and um, I believe it is about 5.30 in the evening mountain time, so we're just going to quickly bust this out real quick, and you guys can all get back to your festivities as I want to as well. Um, we're going to talk about our construction bulldozer that we just finished a few hours ago and we're very happy to show that off to you all but i just wanted to say that this is again i reiterate a very fun kit to build i highly recommend it i've seen a couple of you guys in your stash reports talking about getting these for either christmas or for your own personal stash and i don't think you will be disappointed because it is a very fun build to do all right, so let's see how we did we had to actually come out to the dining room because we don't have space in the hobby room to show this big dude off. He is awesome and is glorious, absolutely glorious. Look at this thing. Uh, I've impressed myself with this build and I, I just absolutely love it. Um, I'll probably get criticism for talking so well about myself and my building techniques, but so be it. Um, let's see, here's our universal construction decal. And as a side note, uh, I did not have these on here to begin with when I started my weathering process. And my friend Dan had pointed it out, and I was like, oh, that, um, that could be a problem. But it actually did not turn out to be much of a problem because we were able to weather them over and uh, make them match up with the rest of the bulldozer. So uh, lucky us. Um, we got some uh, some weeds and stuff growing up around the, uh, the hydraulic fluid tank. And then uh, up here on our control seat, we actually have some strips of, uh, of duct tape holding it all together. Uh, some comments from some of the guys in the community have suggested that we, we try tackling that. And now those were excellent ideas, guys. So thank you very much. I appreciate that. And I do think they work out very, very well. Um, move a little bit forward here. We got some more weeds growing out of the engine compartment and uh, we got some rust and oil and stuff. That looks like a new filter on there. It's like they were trying to do a little bit of maintenance on this before they got it up on the back of the trailer. Uh, we've got all kinds of junky, muddy, crusty, rusty stuff going on up here. I just absolutely love it. It's, it's uh, visually interesting even to me and I made it. <laughs> so up in the front here we do have some hold down chains and um, oh thank you for focusing. I appreciate that. Uh, it hasn't done that since, <laughs> but uh, these are three millimeter, three millimeter links that uh, Mrs. BG was able to find us on Amazon. And uh, let's see here. Let's get. I have to excuse the crinkling because it is in the bag, and the bag does have the part number on it. But uh, here's the part number that that, uh, and it's also I love the fact that it's the Rolo chain. I thought that's just funny as heck. But uh, I think I have about uh, about nine or ten feet of this stuff now. Um, absolutely cool looking stuff. I, I feel that the link might be a little bit large or perhaps a little bit heavy, kind of chunky. Uh, but it is what it is, and it's a lot better than um, using the jewelry chain we had been threatening to use. So um, I think it looks the part. We did rust it up a little bit with some Tamiya paneling. Uh, paneling fluid, uh, the uh, the brown stuff, we actually just took the lid off the bottle and dipped the uh, chain in it and then let it drip dry. So there you go. Uh, let's see here, let's head to the back and down the side here. We do have it all tied off as best we can. We did uh, look up, uh, uh, did a little bit of research on how to tie down bulldozers and um, according to the state of Idaho, this is how you're supposed to do it. So <laughs> I guess we're in Idaho now. But uh, I did make my own ratcheting load tensioning devices, I believe they call them. Um, and I'll, I'll, I'll point one of those out here in just a second because I do have one setting aside. And uh, we tightened up our chain as best we could. We still have a little bit of a droop to them. But it is what it is and hopefully we don't get burned too bad for that. But uh, uh, it was a lot of fun to do all this. The, um, the chain does look shiny but uh, that's just because the camera's catching all the glints. Uh, from our lighting sources, but um, yeah, awesome, awesome job, a lot of fun, looks great on the trailer, and as a matter of fact, I did not know this until I got well into the build, that the trailer was actually part of the bulldozer kit when it was originally released, and I have a picture I can share uh, right now, as a matter of fact. So yeah, who knew, right? Uh, that must have been just a ton of styrene in that box because it's um, quite 
quite the amount of uh, styrene sitting here in front of us. But uh, let me show you that uh, ratcheting load tensioning device I was talking about. Uh, here's one that we have that we didn't use. Um, and Linda does not like me leaving these laying around because they look a little bit like a scorpion. But uh, we have a piece of styrene rod attached to a small t uh, styrene tube that we cut very, very small so that it would be a collar. And then that's sitting on an aluminum tube. And then through the aluminum tube, we have a, a bit of wire that's looped at each end. And that's where we have our actual uh, hooks attached to there. And uh, very, very easy to do. It's just small and fiddly. So um, you might complain that the... Uh, that the that this that this lever here is a little bit on the long side, but in my defense, um, I, I you know I was using to hold this while I was attaching everything, and I needed to be a bit along on the long side. I can go back and clip them smaller and then just paint off the edges, but um, very very simple thing to do. Uh, it was a lot of fun to try and figure that out. So there we go on that. But uh, again, it is a very eye catching piece. Uh, and I think that the irony here is not lost on me at all. We have our most recent build here, which is the bulldozer, and that's attached to our first build, which was at the beginning of the year in January for the Big Rig Group build, hosted by Mr. Jeff at Jeff's uh, Model Car Garage, and then also Mr. Thomas Soltis at Soltis Ca Classic Car and Truck Modeling. But um, I think it's just awesome that how it all goes together. Uh, I, I suppose you probably wouldn't be using a, a, a cab over sleeper to be pulling around a bulldozer. Who knows? You know, maybe... Maybe that's a long distance type of deal, but uh, the backstory that we're talking about on the bulldozer is that this was the original piece of equipment that uh, that that uh, Mr. Universal Construction Company bought back when he started his company, and uh, the very first piece of equipment that he bought, and it's been sitting in a field uh, decaying for a little while, and now they're going to haul it off and get it refurbished and put it on display at, at the headquarters. So I thought that would be kind of a fun backstory for that. That will explain why everybody else is nice and clean looking, except for the bulldozer. So let's um, let's show them off with his friends here, because we have the uh, the Gear Hustler kit, the El Camino, which uh, which was a very fun build to do. I really enjoyed this one. Let's just fix that. There we go. Now you're pretty. But uh, a very fun kit. I recommend that one as well. Uh, a couple different engine options. The camper shell bit on the back is a lot of fun. Uh, it does come with different colored glass if you want to choose to swap that out for transparent pieces instead of blue. But uh, I thought the blue would be kind of a fun deal. And then here's everybody's hero, Mr. Crew Chief. Here we are, Mr. Crew Chief. Can't keep his back gate closed. There we go. So there we go, folks. And um, I, it had been suggested that we dirty up this guy also, but... Um, I think it's just too cool looking. I don't really want to get them. I may, I might do a coat of dust on them, but as he is, I just absolutely love it. So let's pull back as best we can. And there's the whole crew. We did have one kit that we could not finish in time, which was the the Ford C600 tilt cab stake side flatbed. Um, but that is slated for this year. We'll, we'll finish that all off. All right, y'all, it's been long enough. I'll go ahead and sign off here. Have a great evening. Have a wonderful New Year. Have a wonderful New Year's Eve. And we'll see you all next year. Bye now.